Physicists build machines with the size and the power consumption of an entire town to study tiny subnuclear effects. They build telescopes distributed over several continents or orbiting the Earth in space uh, to look back or out into the universe. So isn't our knowledge of physics accurate enough already? And how many significant digits do we really need? The purpose of building big accelerators is not to improve the number of significant figures. Um, it is to discover new phenomena. It is just to discover... In discovering, for example, that a nucleus is made of protons and neutrons, that was a discovery at one time, right? One wasn't, one wasn't improving the accuracy of the old theory. One was discovering something genuinely new, new phenomena, that there are things called protons and neutrons. When the atom was discovered to be uh, electrons going around in orbit, uh, in uh, quantum mechanical orbits, that was not improving accuracy. It was discovering a whole new way to, theor to think about the world. The big machines that are being built to understand, let us say, elementary particles, are not being built to imp for the purpose of improving the accuracy, let's say, for chemistry or for, for whatever. They're being built to try to understand what the, what the real phenomena at the, at the basic, our basic understanding of the world um, and of what makes up matter, what makes up things, and it, it's not that it's going to improve the accuracy, it's going to change the whole picture of the way we think things work. The same is true with the big telescopes. Now, sometimes it's important to improve accuracy. We have various ideas, for example, about something called dark energy. Dark energy is the energy that's out there in space that is causing the universe to accelerate and expand faster and faster. Um, the various ideas may be very different than each other, but they may give rise to answers which are pretty similar. And in that case, we build the machines to be more accurate to describe, to try to discriminate between different possibilities. But the different possibilities really describe very, very different kinds of understandings of the world. So sometimes, yes, we just really do want to improve the number of significant figures. Also, sometimes in improving the number of significant figures, figures, you discover discrepancies. An example might be studying the properties, the detailed properties of electrons. Now, the properties of electrons, many of them are known to God knows how many significant figures. Uh, eight, let us say. That's a lot of significant figures. Supposing we make a more accurate measurement and we discover that in the ninth significant figure, we don't agree experiment with theory. That could really tell us something very deep about what the next step will be in understanding elementary particles. So, yeah, we do want to improve accuracy, but mostly we want to discover new phenomena, new, not just new phenomena, but new understandings uh, of, uh, of what the old phenomena are.